celebrate this festive season with RR Anand Bhavan Sweets and Snacks. Holidays nale, adi nama GT Holidays da. South India's number one travel brand. Arisa shirts and trousers. Although the makers of this film say that this story was inspired from true rumors, I am also told that there was indeed a man by this name and reputation. So I would like to start with a disclaimer that my review is only based on what I saw in the film and nothing outside of it. Hi, this is Galata Plus. I am Kairam Vashi, and this is about Vamsi's. Tiger Nageshwar Rao. There are always two sides to a story because on each side is a different narrator. If Tiger Nageshwar Rao (TNR) was Ram in one version, he was Ravan in the other. But what was he actually? I don't know because the film didn't take me inside TNR's mind. In fact, it left me confused and not in a way where I wanted to engage further with the film even after it was done to resolve that confusion for myself. Now that would have been a happy confusion for me. Sometime during the British Raj, I suppose, the forest people who were primarily hunters had to vacate the forests for a resettlement in a place which was later called Stuart Puram, named after Stuart, a British official who I suppose facilitated that entire resettlement. Due to this, they now had no qualification or profession to feed themselves. or even engage with respect with the so called civilized people of that village they were looked down upon ill treated exploited and had to take a robbery as the means to putting some food on their plates this is one side of the story the other side shows them as a barbaric bunch and as dacoits by birth and not because of circumstances nageshwar rao nagi played obviously by ravi teja comes from this group of people If you look at him as Ravan, he is Stuart Puram Nageshwar Rao, the dacoit. If you look at him as Ram, then he is Tiger Nageshwar Rao, the rebel, the leader, the hero. But did the film actually give me that transformation, or at least that gradual transition from SNR to TNR? I don't think so. There's a scene in which a young boy tells Nagi about his passion for going to school and getting educated, and also mentions Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Now, did that initiate a transformation in Nagi? I'm not sure. The film first shows us Ravan, and then tells us, "No, that was just to mislead you because our hero is actually Ram, the do-gooder who's ready to sacrifice anything for the betterment of his people." And in that. this film becomes a generic affair i was really and almost immediately pulled into the film at the beginning there is a code red emergency in the prime minister's office and the reason is tnr vishwanath shastri an officer from guntur's crime branch lands in delhi to meet with other officials to discuss the next course of action and that is where he starts revealing the origin story of tnr and there we get a nicely ideated train robbery scene which although had tacky cg work gave a promising start to this close to 3 hours film but after this i hardly saw any inventiveness in the film instead kept getting scenes the intention of which seemed was to either titillate the audience or simply shock them both the heroine characters in this film willingly fall in love with a womanizer a dacoit and i couldn't understand why There's a love story, a love song, a KGF Rocky Bhai like song, Ravi Teja in five to six looks, Nasser and others in funny wigs, and none of this had a positive impact. The film does give us some idea about this community of people who came from the forests and how they trained under Nasser, but beyond that scene or the next, it doesn't focus on that. I believe this film was meant to be about that one person. Nageshwar Rao who was a hero who fought against uh, the powerful for the sake of his people and I get that. However, it is also set between the 1950s and 70s. Why? Because it also talks about the resettlement of the forest people. And for that I wish this film was slightly more intentional about the core plot and treated it differently. There's a lot of effort that has obviously gone into the making of this film. I tip my hat off for the effort, but as a film it should have been better. even if not for anything else simply for their own effort. In the final fight of this film Ravi Teja is handcuffed. He takes about 100 bullets to his body 
but lives on and continues to fight. I was okay to overlook logic because that fight had an interesting idea. He's a criminal and hence he's handcuffed. That's one way to look at it. He and his people have been handcuffed for ages and hence he lives on to fight. That's another way to look at it. All I wished for from this film was a few more ideas like that. Holidays Nale, Adinama GT Holidays Ta, South India's number one travel brand. Arisa, shirts and trousers. Celebrate this festival season with Adiyar Anandabhavan Sweets and Snacks.